Alrighty, so we've got to calculate this, and we're going to do use the order of operations, PEMDAS. We've got to think about parentheses first. And have we got any parentheses? Got got some here, but there's nothing happening inside it, right? So we can just kind of ignore that. That's done. Do we have exponents? All right. We got an exponent, that little number there, squared, which means 6 sevens times 6 sevens, right? And so what does that give us? 36. Good. Yeah. Good. You've been pract you're practicing your mental arithmetic as you're doing these, right? Good. So eighteen thirty fifth. So yeah, multiplying fractions, you multiply the tops, then you multiply the bottoms. And so our squared has become squaring this becomes thirty six forty ninths. And so we can say that our exponents are done. And so now we have this thing divided by this thing. So we just have one thing left to do, and that's divide. So how do you divide fractions again? Yep, just multiply by, flip it and multiply. Multiply by the reciprocal, right? Yep. And now, can we... What can we, should we multiply 18 by 49 right away? 49, 18, should we do that? 2, 37, or is there a better way? 39, 9, 4, add, that's 2, 8, 1, that's a lot of work. 8, so I've got 882 over, <laughs> is there a better way? 36 by 35, what do you think? Uh, 33, 18, 86 is 18, carry 1, 91 is 10. No, did I do that right? Divide it smaller. Divide it smaller. Yeah, how about cross-cancel common factors? Because if you save me from myself, everybody, you'll see that I'm really messing up here. 3... Six into eighteen goes three times. Good. That would be better, wouldn't it? Six into eighteen goes three times. What else? Six and thirty-six, six times. Ha oh, gosh. Wish you had told me that sooner. I went through all the multiplications. I got eight hundred and eighty-two over twelve hundred and sixty. I don't even know if I'm right. I might have made a mistake. Anyway, but it's big numbers on top and bottom. Man, if we cross cancel that makes it easier, right? Good idea. So what next? Good. 3 into 3 goes once. 3 into 6 goes twice. Good. What else? 35 and 29. Yep. 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 7 35 5 times. 7 into 49. Yep, yeah, good. All right, so I, I see one times seven on the top and a five times two on the bottom. You guys don't have to write this out like that. I'm just doing it for the purpose of clarity. But that's what we got. We got a one times seven on the top and a five times two in the bottom. Does anything else cross cancel? No, so that's seven tenths. And that is correct. And again, gosh, this would have been hard to figure out. Let's see, two into that goes four, four, one. Two into that goes six, thirty. 
Um, gosh, what goes next? I'm going to try a seven just because I'm crazy. Seven into that goes uh, nine times and zero. Uh, seven of that goes six times and three, 63 over 90. Um, I'm going to try three into that, 21, three into that, 30. And where well, I'm nearly there, seven into that goes three times, seven into that goes 10 times. That wasn't so bad. We could have got three tenths without cross cancelling at the beginning, but it's kind of messy, right? So this is nicer than this, right? Got to remember to cross cancel before you multiply, right? Good deal.